guys welcome back to my clothing and accessories organization series I'm still here at our Utah house which is a family vacation home home oh, blur <laughs> right which is a family vacation home that my in-laws own and they are very generous and kind and letting us visit whenever we want and decorate and organize our room however you want and they encourage me to organize other areas of the house as well and I've shared the kitchen and um, our uh, you know seasonal Christmas storage before um, in this house as well and this few weeks here I am taking you through um, how I store the clothing and accessories in our home here. Uh, last week I shared the dresser that we have in this room which is kind of a more narrow dresser um, and there will be a link to that video at the end of this one if you're curious if you missed it. This week, I'm gonna take you into the closet. There, there it is. This closet is um, really a place where we store a wide variety of things because even though, you know, we have access to the house and to be able to use it however we want, I just personally feel more comfortable storing most of my and my husband's personal things in our own room. So we're not like infringing on the family space. Um, because it's not actually like our house technically. It is, I mean that's the feeling is it's supposed to be like the family house, but do you know what I mean? I just, I try to store as much as possible in our room. So I try to make use of all of the built-in spaces we have and this closet is really great because it's a nice generously sized medium walk-in closet. I think that's how I would define it. Um, and I, like I said, really maximize space in here by storing a hodgepodge of things, um, including clothing and like things you would find in a closet. Uh, but I wanted to take you in and show you my current organization. I've been working on it. You know, we're not here all of the time. We kind of come in bunches seasonally. We'll come for like a couple of weeks here and a couple of weeks there, and maybe a month in the summer. And um, so I'm not here constantly and I've been kind of working on it over the past couple of visits and I finally have it to a place that I really am very happy with it and I wanted to share with you. So let's let's take a look, let's go on inside and I will show you not only what I keep in there but how I keep it. Before we get into the details I just thought I'd give you an overall look of the closet and orient you once again. Like I said we're at our Utah home so this is our bedroom which you have seen if you watched my um, dresser video from last week, my dress organization video. I will have that linked at the end of this video. But our, we have a nice sized, I would call this a medium sized walk-in closet. Um, right next to our bed, between our bed and our bathroom, which is also in room. Uh, so we've got quite a bit of space and we definitely make use of all of it. Um, and I'm going to go through each part with you. But just at the beginning is just sort of an overall look. You can see it's pretty packed, but I use organizational aids to help keep things as tidy as possible and really maximizing the space. Um, so let's, let's take a closer look. So at the very, very tippy top of the closet here, I have five very large plastic bins, which I've had since I started coming to this house about 10 years ago. Um, we started, I bought those bins a long, long time ago. And the two on the left there with the green lids have all of our ski gear in it. So one is for all of my ski gear and one's for all of Don's. And ski gear is very bulky and we've got helmets and it, we each needed a bin. It just works out that way. And then the three bins on the other shelf of the closet have out of season clothing. So the one tucked in to the corner that you can barely see on the left has all of our winter things that aren't necessarily for skiing, so winter jackets and scarves and hats and gloves are just for regular, like everyday use. And then we each have an extra bin. So Don, you can see they're labeled, I just used a Sharpie. This was before the era of label makers for me even, because um, I do not write directly on plastic bins anymore, <laughs> but I used to before I had a label maker. Uh, so Don has one in the middle there and I have one on the end and this is where we put kind of out of season clothing or extra things that we don't need to have out all of the time. And I'm not going to pull those bins down because it's kind of self-explanatory but I will give you a closer look into some of my other bins as I go through the closet here. So the closet has this built-in shelving unit on the left hand wall uh, and this is where I keep most of Dawn's clothing and our shoes. So the very top shelf there we have an extra set of sheets for our bed. The bin in the center has um, extra like things for our room like hooks and things. I'll pull that bin down and show you. 
So, um, like I said, it has some manuals and just some extra things, kind of household things just for our room, like extra outlet things. And this is a little baggie of fuzzy clips that go to the hangers to turn them into clips. And then I have like some manuals and extra pieces, extra hooks for the bathroom, that sort of stuff. It just lives on the top shelf, so don't need to access it very often. And because I don't access it very often, it actually helps to hold up the books I have on that shelf. You may or may not know that I love collecting children's books, and I do have a bit of a collection out here, mostly gifts that were given to me at Christmas out here, and so I just keep them stored on this top shelf. And I really do need to get a bookend for them so that bin doesn't have to hold them up, but for now it's doing the job. And like I said, I don't pull that bin out very often. The next two shelves down are where Don stores the majority of his clothing. Um, and it's just easier for him. He prefers to have his clothes on shelves as opposed to drawers, which works out well, like I said in my last video, because our dresser is very kind of on the smaller side and definitely very narrow, and his clothing just doesn't fit very well in it. So he prefers this because he can see everything better and his clothes fit better. So I just have things folded pretty casually. I don't get too you know, crazy about folding things perfectly because he tends to rifle through things and mess them up on a daily basis. Um, but this is pretty much what it looks like all of the time. So on the top right, he's got his t-shirts and then undershirts and long sleeves in the middle. And on the bottom shelf there, we've got his um, lounging stuff. So like his pajama pants and mesh shorts on the right and his swim trunks and like actual everyday shorts in the middle. And then I have these two bins. These are by Sterlite, and I bought them at Target, and they came in a, a bunch of two, I think two per pack. They were pretty, you know, reasonably priced. And this is just a way to corral his under things and socks. So he's got socks in the top bin and his boxers, if you wanted to know. Now you know, boxers versus briefs um, <laughs> in the bottom one. And that just keeps everything kind of... It just makes me feel better than having those things kind of like loose on the shelf or even in like an open topped bin, like a non-lidded bin. I just like having those, his under things and his socks um, kind of protected because we aren't here all the time. So things do tend to get a little dusty and I don't know, just feels nicer, doesn't it? This next shelf down has three bins that I picked up at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond quite a while ago, but I know they still sell them. They always have them. And these have some of my kind of things I access frequently, but not super all the time, um, that, you know, this is the place for them. So I'll pull the bins out and I will show you. So I have them in order of how they are on the shelf from left to right. So this bin on the left has some of my accessories um, that don't really fit in my dresser very well. Um, they just, they fit better in here. And I actually moved a few things from my dresser junk drawer, which I shared in the last video, which I have since reorganized. I mean, I'm actually gonna insert a clip of that here so you guys can see in case you're curious. I just bought some drawer organizers. I'll show you real fast. So if you watched the video last week, I showed my little junk drawer in the dresser here. As you can see, it has changed a bit. I organized it. I bought four organizers from Target in the kitchen section. Um, they're just kind of two rectangular ones and then two more narrow rectangular ones. And I've just corralled the items a little bit better in them. I just think it works better. And I moved a couple of my more, um, you know, dressy accessories into that accessory bin. So it's like items with like items, if that makes sense. Anyway, as you can see, I have the handbag that I'm not currently using. I have two handbags out here and one that I use as a dog walking bag, so three bags total. Um, that's a Longchamp Le Pliage tote that I was using for years, but I bought a shoulder bag. But I like having the option of having that tote. And then I have a couple of pouches I'm not currently using, an old wallet and you know some scarves and some more fancy gloves and my little wristlet and my fancy cowgirl belt with its special buckle. And then in the middle bin here, I have my out of season slippers. So the slippers I have and are wearing now are my cold weather slippers because it's still quite cold here. And I keep those out in our room because I wear them all over except for when I'm in the carpeted bedroom. And then in this last bin, I have my out of season candles and candle warmer. Um, so pretty self-explanatory there. On the bottom two shelves here, I have our shoes. And this is one of the things I changed most recently. I just have them kind of stacked on top of each other. And like I said, we're not here all the time. Things tend to get a little dusty, particularly shoes for some reason. So I have put them in more of those Sterlite bins that came in a two pack from Target. And they fit like a glove on these shelves. Um, so I have my shoes that are not that I'm not wearing currently. So we keep the shoes we're wearing most out in the mudroom. 
um, so we don't track in dirt into the house. But these are my out of season shoes and my dress shoes. And then on the bottom shelf there is Don's out of season shoes and his dress shoes. And I will pull those bins out and show you a closer look. So I have pretty smallish feet, I guess. I don't know if they're small. I wear a size seven or a six and a half in some shoes. And I can fit quite a bit of shoes in one of these kind of medium sized bins. Uh, so you can see I have them stacked three deep. So on here I have all my ballet flats. And this is what I wear whenever we go out to dinner here. I don't have any heels here. And on this side I have all of my flip flops. So I have my kind of dressier flip flops and then my regular flip flops and then my sandals that I wear more in the summer. And I will swap out my winter shoes for my summer shoes um, when we come back. And then my cowgirl boots are much bigger, so they take up a whole bin, but I wanted to keep them really nice, so that's why they have their own bin. And then in Don's bins, we have one bin with his dress shoes, which I've just kind of fit in between each other so they don't get too squished. I wanted to really get two pairs of shoes in there. So he's got brown dress shoes and black, and then these are his summer shoes, um, so his flip-flops, and then he also has his hiking shoes, um, his hiking sneakers, I guess. Uh, so those are our shoe bins. Like I said, we really have to maximize space in this closet to store a wide variety of things because this is our area of the house, you know, that's completely our own. So I have these two big tubs at the bottom here, and one is um, all of my winter um, boots and like special shoes, I don't know, special boots and things that just are big and take up a lot of room. I also have Don's winter slippers in there because he doesn't wear them very often and they're rather large because he has a size 12 foot. And then I have a bin for some extra things for my dog, Winnie. And the bins do stick out a bit, but I like that I can fit the two side by side, really maximizing space. And they're not sticking out further than the door jam, um, which to me, works just fine. Don't need a lot of space in this closet on the floor um, to get in and get everything because like I said it's a nice medium-sized closet but it's not like hard to access things once you walk into it. Now I have to be really careful with what kinds of things I store on the floor in this house because we have radiant floor heating and the heat does kick on even when we're not here especially in the winter and stuff otherwise the pipes would freeze. Um, so I tend to keep think bins with things like shoes or you know nothing that could melt or get somehow damaged by heat. It doesn't get that hot but better safe than sorry. Um, but I do like to take advantage of the floor space in these nooks and crannies. Again maximizing space. So under the hanging portion of the closet here, I have this green bin with our ski boots in it, which are really, really big. Um, <laughs> ski boots are large. We keep all of our ski gear in this closet. And you'll actually see, if I come around here, our both of our skis and poles are tucked into this closet as well. And I'm just using this kind of back corner of the closet to store everything. And it just keeps it nice and protected. Um, so that works out. And then on top of the bin, I'm kind of using the bin as a shelf. I have my pool bag. We do belong to a club here that has a pool that we go to in the summer. Um, so that has all of my stuff for like the towels and our inner tubes and sunscreen. I've got everything in there. Again, it's not directly on the floor so I don't worry about storing sun green, sunscreen in it and our ever important Hello Kitty pool ball. I mean, that's like critical. And then, I don't know, you can kind of see in the back there, there's a Lululemon reusable shopping bag, and that's where I put clothing that we're going to be giving away, and then once the bag is full, I take it to a donation center here. It's just a small bag because we don't give away a lot of things here because we keep just a very, you know, a kind of small selection of clothing here, um, but I do find things every trip that I, I pop into that bag, and then maybe about once every other year I will go and donate it. Moving up here, you can see this is the main hanging portion of our closet. There's two levels of hanging clothes, and then we don't have anything particularly long or particularly bulky in this closet, but this is where we keep the majority of our clothing. Uh, so over here, and I obviously have way more clothing than my husband because I don't know. I just do. Um, I keep all of my jackets in the back there, um, and then all of my running jackets in the kind of middle, and then all of my pants in the front. Um, and I really like these huggable hangers that I got from Target. They're um, flocked, so they really um, hold the clothing onto the hanger, plus they're very slim, so you can fit quite a few things on your uh, closet rod. That's the word. And then over here, this this higher one is where we have the majority of 
you know, all the rest of our hanging clothing, basically. And the first, well, it's probably a little bit more than a half, is all of my clothing. And I just have it organized by sleeve length, basically. So I've got a couple little dresses in the front, and then tanks, and then tees, and then sweaters, and then fleet, uh, no, what are those called? Flannels, and then sweatshirts. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Not really enough to color code. I'd rather have it by, um, sleeve length. That's kind of my preferred organizational method. And then Don's things, he's got his pants, his golf shirts, let me open this up a little more, his sweatshirts, and then his jackets. And one of his jackets is not in the closet right now, but uh, we share the space and it works really well for both of us. And you can see I have two different types of these huggable hangers. I have the regular shirt style and then I have the um, kind of bigger pant style. Uh, I just, I like, I like having the two different kinds. Uh, works out just great. Up on this little shelf above the shorter hanging portion of the closet, I have a extra hangers at the back there because there's no need to hang them up and take up valuable closet space. I have a bin that says Jen and Dawn and it should say extra toiletries. I should probably finish labeling that. I've had that bin for like 10 years and I haven't finished labeling it. But that's where I keep extra toiletries. Again, with the heated floor, things in the bathroom, um, it's, you know, because the cabinets are on the floor, I have to be kind of careful with what I store there when we're not here. Um, so I like to store kind of extra things as well as things that I'm more worried about when we go away. Um, so that's what that bin is for and it's a good size for that. Then I have my cowgirl hat. Can't be, can't, can't have a Utah house without a cowgirl hat. I feel like that's, that's also critically important. And this little Sterlite two-level bin um, that has some dog grooming things for my dog Winnie. It's like an extra set of brushes and combs and things. I'm not going to pull it down, um, but it's just so I can, you know, fix her up up here instead of going down to where I keep most of her grooming stuff um, if I want to just fix her up real quickly. Okay, I've walked into the closet now and kind of closed the door and it's a little bit narrow so I'm sorry if I can't get a really good full shot for you guys. But this is the back of the closet. So this is the wall where the door is. We usually keep the door open to be honest. Um, but this is the back and there's this tie rack here. It was here before I even started coming to this house. Our family friends lived in our house for a little while and um, they, who, whoever lived in this room had a lot of ties, but it's okay because I use it um, to store uh, some other things. So I've got kind of a, an extra robe and a warmer kind of robe jacket. And then all of my belts and Don's special cowboy belt there on the left. It's pretty awesome. And then this is my Utah dress bag <laughs> from 1154 Little Studio. And um, a hat that I use for golf and fitness. And then we have a hook on the back of our door. And I keep the robe that I wear most often here as well as the nightgown I'm currently wearing. Um, and that is what's on the back of the door. I also have this tote bag from Vera Bradley that I've had for a long time. It's just nice to to have like a bigger size tote bag on hand and like I said most of the time this door is um, pushed over so you can't really see the bag but it's just nice to have and it fits really well right there. Lastly we have a hole in our wall. Not really sure why we need the hole in the wall but not my it's not my home so I, I'm not in charge of the holes in the wall but I also have this little stool so I can easily access the bins at the top without you know needing assistant because assistance because I'm not that tall. <laughs> And then lastly, we have our laundry bin that I picked up last year actually from Target um, that just keeps the clothes nice and tucked away and out of the way. And then I have this laundry basket and I pop in, oh, it's having trouble focusing. There we go. I pop in um, dirty washcloths and towels in there, but I also use that bin when I'm doing laundry. Um, and that's just easy. It's our laundry area. Lastly, I have this hang over the door mirror. I believe I bought this at Target a few years ago. I liked it because you didn't have to drill into the door and the doors are so beautiful. I didn't want to put any unnecessary holes on the front of them. Like, I don't mind putting hooks in the back, but I don't know. It just, it works. It's just a, you know, a mirror. And that, my friends, is the entire closet. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I organized my medium-sized walk-in closet and that it gave you some tips or helped inspire you to do something with your closet. Um, I'd love to know how you organize. If you care to share, please do. And check out my blog post for pictures and links to products that I can find. I hope you guys enjoyed a look at our medium-sized walk-in closet here at our Utah house. 
Um, I think this is just, I mean, really maximizing space, working around built-in components like where the shelves are and how the um, hanging portion has a divider and just how the space is, like not being able to, uh, my closets at home I designed myself using Alpha. Working around that kind of makes it interesting to organize. I think, I, you know, I think organizing is always interesting, but it's just, you know, finding the right size bins. Uh, we don't have a container store here, boo-hoo, but there, there's one coming. There's one coming to Utah, I think in October. Um, but anyway, you know, making use of Target and Walmart and um, Bed Bath & Beyond, stores that are accessible, I think, to more people than the container store is, um, and using those sorts of components to help an organization, and really just really making good use of the space. I have not left one corner of that closet like without things stored nicely in it um, and it's just it functions you can still walk in it it's not a mess everything's easy to locate um, I love bins especially if you're you know organizing a home that you're not staying in all the time to keep things kind of dust free keep them you know nicer while you're away um, also to protect against moths if that's something you're worried about um, so yeah I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So that is how I store all of our clothing and a lot of our accessories in this house. And next week I thought I would continue by showing you one last video from this house here, um, my vanity organization here. And it's a very small vanity. And so my vanity at home, if you've seen, I posted a video a few years ago, it's really big and I have a ton of makeup and a ton of storage space for it. Here, I only keep a small amount of makeup because we're not here all the time, um, but I like to keep some things here and I'm using basically a desk that I transformed into a vanity and it's a very small desk and I thought that would be interesting um, to some of you to see. And I am going to be showing you all of these, like how I showed you the dressers here and the closet here and I'm going to be showing you the vanity here. I'm going to be showing you all of those things which are much larger at our main home in Illinois um, you know, later on in the series. So I thought it would be kind of nice uh, comparison, you know, to show you how I organize different size spaces um, that function a little bit differently. Uh, so anyway, that's my spiel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, check out my blog post for pictures and links to products that I can find. And um, I would just love to hear from you and hear about you know, if you're organizing right now or how you organize your closet or anything really special you want to share, tweet me pics, please send me on Facebook pictures. I'd love to see. And I will see you next week with a look at my small vanity organization. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Take care. Happy organizing. Bye.